If you're a machinist, chances are you already know how to drill a hole. Yeah, that's not it. But what if you have to drill a hole in a casting that has an irregular surface? Or what if you have to drill a hole on an angle? Or on a curved surface? Or what if your hole has a flat bottom? Well, traditionally, all of these situations would require you to add an additional process. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do all of these things efficiently and only using one tool. But first, we need to machine something that mimics a lot of these tough drilling applications. Now that we got our part complete, let's jump into SolidWorks and take a closer look. So here's a very simple part that represents some various drilling scenarios. If we do a section view on this, we're gonna start out by just drilling a five degree angled hole on these two surfaces. Next, we're gonna get a little bit more complex and we're gonna drill three holes on this 10 degree angle. And if that goes well, we're gonna step over to the right side and drill two holes that are on a 30 degree angle. Now, if I move my section view, I see that I also have some 30 degree holes that are not only entering the part on an incline, but it's also exiting on an incline. And then we're gonna step over and drill a hole right on top of this dome, which is gonna be on this curved surface. And then we got a really complex situation where we got a deep hole that's entering on an irregular surface. Now this is gonna be like your cast iron stuff. And lastly, we see that we've got a couple counterboard holes. Now this is gonna represent a hole that's got a flat bottom. Now all of these holes represent some less than ideal situations. Now by now, I know you keyboard warriors got your biscuits burning. You can't wait to get in the comments and tell us, oh boy, he needs to drill them holes before he mills them angled surfaces. But remember now, this is just meant to be a test part for some tough situations. Like when you're rutting up your neighbor's yard because you want to test out some new mud tires. Now I've already rotated my table, so hopefully you guys can see that this face is now not perpendicular to my drill. I'm using a five times D Kenna Metal Go Drill. Now in normal circumstances, you could take this drill and go straight into drilling. You wouldn't need a spot drill or a pre-drill. But since this face is on an angle, if we did that, then you can see that this side of the drill would clearly hit before this center of the drill would. Now that's gonna cause a whole world of issues. First off, the drill's gonna glance off this face, causing it to drill out of location. So to keep from having these issues, the traditional process is to come in with an end mill and circle interpolate a flat that's on this angle that is perpendicular to the axis of the drill. Then we could come straight in with this drill and drill our hole like normal. But we're gonna show you a more efficient way using a flat bottom drill. Today we're gonna to be using a Kinemetal FB drill that is specifically designed for holes on an incline or flat bottom applications. So let's hop into master cam and take a closer look. So this first hole is just on a five degree angle. So we don't have to slow down the feed at all. We're just gonna come straight in and drill straight to the bottom and then wrap it back out. To drill these 10 degree faces, we need to slow the tool down. So we're gonna utilize Mastercam's advanced drill tool path in order to do that. So we're gonna slow the drill by 30% until the drill gets fully engaged. Then we're gonna ramp up to 100% feed and feed through the rest of the part. Next, to drill this 30 degree face, we're gonna use the same method that we used before. We're gonna slow it down by 30% until it fully engages in the hole and then ramp up to 100% and drill through the rest of the part. Now this angle is getting pretty steep and a 30% reduction may not be enough, but we're gonna start here and see how that goes. Moving on, these holes are gonna enter and exit on an incline. So we're gonna reduce the feed by 30% until we get fully engaged in the hole. Then we're gonna ramp up to 100% until just before we break out the bottom. And then we're gonna reduce the feed again by 30% and exit the hole. So 
So now to drill this curved surface, it's gonna be just like the incline. We're gonna enter at a 30% reduction, then ramp up to 100%. To use this flat bottom drill as a pilot drill, we just need to drill deep enough that when we come in with the go drill, it can be fully engaged with the hole. One of the cool features about this drill is that it's a true 180 all the way to center. So that makes it much more efficient for things like counter bores than interpolating with an end mill. Now that the machining is complete, let's check the holes with some gauge pins to see how the drill held size. If you want to learn more about Mastercam, SolidWorks, or even 5-axis machining, then make sure that you check out academy.titansandcnc.com where you can learn all of this for free. Now let's check out these holes. First, we're gonna check the hole that we done the traditional method using a 500 minus pin, and then we're gonna check it with a 501. So go in with a 500. And 501 does not go. Next is our five degree hole that we introduced the flat bottom drill with. So we'll go in with the 500 and now the 501. Next, let's check the holes that are on a 10 degree angle. Start with the 500, and now the 501. And now we're gonna move over to the right side where we got the 30 degree holes. 500, and now the 501. Now we're gonna check the 30 degree holes that went through the part on an incline. 500, now the 501. Now let's check the hole that's on this dome here on the curved surface. 500 and 501. Now we're gonna check the deep hole on the side. So our 500 and the 501 does not. Last one is the counterboard holes. So let's go in with a 500 on them. And now the 501. So it looks like our drill held size really well. Now this doesn't say anything about the true position of the holes, so we would need a CMM to check that, but as far as size goes, they all look pretty good. So now you know the difference between the process of using a normal drill and a flat bottom drill in some of these not so normal circumstances. So how do you know if this process is right for your situation? Well, anybody who has a ton of holes to drill, or if you're in a production environment, this flat bottom drill is gonna be much more efficient than the normal end mill and drill combination. So if you need to maximize efficiency when drilling holes with a flat bottom on an incline or on a curved surface, or if you're drilling rough casting, even if your name is Barry Setzer and you need all the help you can get, then something like a flat bottom drill could end up saving you a lot of time and a lot of money. Now, if you've made it to this far in the video, then now might be a good time to go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And go ahead and leave us a like and comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. Like that? I do. Feel good, don't it? Uh, hey! Hey, boy. You didn't get it. What's up, Bo? Damn, I old feel son. Good. You like it? Oh, I got something good for T. Ravis. Like, listen to that, T. Ravis. I like to see you call this one bad. Just like quality. Ain't never in the office, can't never be found. Let's see what Donald's doing. More than likely, nothing. Let me show you something you ain't never experienced, Donnie. Ooh, you like that? Mmm. Mmm.